So hi guys. What I thought we'd do today on the last day of September is we're going to do this interlocking bee stitch. We're actually going to do this in two colors. It'll be the first time I've done a sample or a stitch in a different colors. Uh, this one was just one color just so I could get the hang of the stitch itself. So pretty much we're going to be seeing a, like a dropped V and this is done in a double treble. And then we're going to use single crochet, chains, and double crochets. And so we are going to get started. My first color is going to be this cream. And this is going to be done in multiples of four plus three and then one for our foundation chain because it's going to be our turning stitch. And so we are going to get that started. This is an older yarn. I don't know if that makes it just split easier or what. Okay, so we got a slip stitch. We're going to do 15, which is our multiples of four plus three. And then we'll do one. So I'm going to everybody just go ahead and make your sample to the length you want. So we have one, two, three, six, seven. Come back here. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, now we're going to add our 3, 14, 15, and chain 1. And we're going to start, skip this one and start here. We don't count this as a stitch. So we skip one, and we're going to do single crochets all the way across. Now, I'm going to let everybody do that on their own. So we're just going to make one row of single crochets, and then we'll meet up for row 2. Okay, so row one is done. You should have 15. And we're going to act like I don't know how don't know how to hold yarn. We're going to chain one and we're going to turn. Now this row sequence is three single crochets. Two, three, three one chain and we're going to skip one and that's what we're going to do all the way across three single crochets chain one chain one and three single crochets now this stitch is good for dense fabric so accessories um, housewares I would think like a table runner or uh, when it came to mind when I read that chain one and we should end with three I'm just kind of making sure I have my stitches right so one if you've been with me this month you know that if I get to talking I can lose my place and Let's try that again. I got a split. We chained one, we skipped one, and one, two, three. Now, this row, I'm just chaining one, is a double crochet row, and I'm going to let you do that, but we're going to meet up at the end of this because I'm going to change colors and add the blue. So. Go ahead and do your double crochets all the way over and we'll meet up at this last stitch. Okay, so where we did the one chain, I am just going around that one. I'm not going like into the stitch itself. I didn't think about that when I told you guys to go ahead and make yours. So we're going to do the double crochets and then at the chain one, all I'm doing is just going I put around it like that. Well, it helps if I do a double crochet. There we go. All right, I just wanted to stop and let you know how I was doing that chain one space. Okay, so we are going to do the last double crochet, and this is where we're going to cha change our color. Now I'm going to go in and do start my, well, we're going to yarn over, go in and start our double crochet like we would normally, and I'm going to go through two. But instead of yarning over and going through two more, I'm going to take my yarn, new color, 
Okay, so I'm making sure that makes sense. I have my last two loops on the hook. I'm going to take our new collar, yarn over, and go through those two hook, last two. And you can tighten it up. I think it's easier to tighten it up, tight it, tightening it up after we do our turn chain. Then we can kind of fiddle with it and get it back to where we want it. Now you don't have to uh, trim this if you don't want to. If it's easier for you to take weave it in your tail, because this is done every two rows now, we are going to be doing the same thing. Our getting started here we did a foundation row of single crochets but the what we're getting ready to do now in our drop stitch and our double crochet will be what we repeat so the next two rows are repeats so I am going to be doing a single crochet and this is where we are going to drop that V so we're going to do a double treble. So we're going to, a, tre, a treble is yarn over twice. A double treble is we're going to yarn over three times. Now, remember down here where we did that uh, chain one? This very first single crochet in that row, we are going to make this double treble. So I'm going to go in that stitch, yarn over, and pull it through, go through two, go through two, go through two, and go through two. Now in between our V stitches, we're not going to, we're not going to catch that one behind us. We are going to do a single crochet, chain one, and a single crochet. Now the stitches in between the ends are a little bit different because we are going to do two of these together so we're going to yarn over one two three we are going to go back to this stitch remember we're going through the top of that um, stitch under the chain one okay so I'm leaving two loops on my hook we're going to do this again and I'll, I will try to make sure I don't go too fast. Basically we we're skipping three. This was our chain one in between these sets of uh, single crochets and we're going to catch, catch the top of that one double crochet. And I'm going to yarn, well, we're going to make our double. Okay, so we go one, two, and three. We are going to three rows down. We're catching that top of that single crochet. I'm yarning over, bringing mine up. Go through two, go through two, go through two, and now I'm going to go through all three. So we are stitching those together. In between those stitches are a single, a chain, and a single. And then we're going to do another, it, it, it sounds tongue-tied, it's a double, triple, two together. <laughs> so one, two, three. We are going to go back into this. Now we're going into the stitch here, not around. So the first time I tried this, I guess what I did, and I thought it did not look right. So I had to... Okay, so there we go. So we see an RV. Now we're, oops, let's back that out. Just the last two. There we go. We want to keep two remaining stitches. So we're going to go one, two, three. See, that's our little chain space. And then we're going to take the top of that stitch in that row and make our double treble together. One, two, three, and then all three of them. Okay. And then we're ready for our little set, which is a single, a chain, a single. Now our last one is just a double treble. 
So we'll just yarn over three. We are going to go back over here to make that V. Now, I don't know if someone, most you guys, someone would be more comfortable going to the front to back on that. Um, I, I can't, and this is what it looks like at, at, for the sample. So I think it gives a, a good look. Then we're going to end this with a single crochet. So there is this row. And now our next row is going to be all double crochets like we did earlier. And then we'll change back into our cream color. So I'm going to just do my double crochet all the way across. And then when we get to the end, I will meet back with you to change colors again. And we'll see how these look together. And we'll do that again. I know that might seem, um, I don't just kind of like what? <laughs> so I don't want you, uh, I don't want it to be seem hard. Okay, so we're going to do that. And I'll see you here in a little bit. Okay, and this is also the row I will count to make sure I didn't gain a stitch or lose a stitch. Because I, I have to check myself. Okay, so now we are going to go through the first two loops and now I'm going to bring back up my color and use it to go through my two loops. So we're just traveling that up as we go. And then again, if you don't like that travel, then you can always trim and um, weave in your colors, whichever way you like to do it. So we are going to start off with our single crochet. Now this might get to where you have to kind of pull around and we're going to do our first double treble. So one, two, three, and we're going down. This is that chain space. We're going to catch our stitch. These are all worked, okay, these are worked three rows below. And so now we're going to do that chain one. Yeah, chain one, or yeah, single crochet, chain one, single crochet. Say my words right. All right. So it's one, two, three, and this is this is row one, this was row two, and this is row three. And we're gonna come down and make our double treble. One, two, three. We're going to stop there because these are the ones chained together. And then we're gonna go one, two, and we're going to come to this one so we can make that those V stitches connect okay come on oh, I lost it there we go Okay, so now we're going to make sure we don't skip too many stitches. And then we're going to do a single, a chain, and a single. And now we're ready to do our next double treble together. We're going to go back and pair it with the previous one. Okay. Then one, two, three, and then we're going to find our next one. And we're going to close that. And then we're going to do single, chain, single, and we end just with a double treble. 
We always want to make sure we're doing them in the same space as our previous treble. All right. And then we're going to end on single crochet. And this is what we're, we're looking at. Now, it's, these are important because when we go back, and we're just going to go to that so we can see why it's good to go through the loop. It makes it easier. And so... Okay, and this is the row again. I like the count because it helps me to make sure. All right, so this is our chain one. This is another reason why it's important to go under it because if you look, let me do one more. If you turn around, you can easily find that space because this is where we're going to make those double trebles in this stitch right here. So by doing our double that way, it makes it very defined and easy to spa uh, spot th that space. Okay, I'm hoping that makes sense. Sometimes what I do makes sense in my head, and when I have to try to explain it, it doesn't always work. So um, I'm not trying to be confusing. I, but if by going, making sure you don't, some people... When there's a chain, they actually go in the, that chain space. But if you do it like this, because you're having to find this one. Because remember, you're dropping, you're on this row, you're dropping one, two, and then three. And you're catching this, which is just helpful, at least to me. All right, I'm going to finish this up and we'll look at it. All right, so there it is. Our interlocking V stitch and this is nicer with the two colors because you do get a better effect in it but like I said I did this the first time because I had never you know did this and believe me I, I, I needed to practice this out and make sure I was doing it right so I hope you liked it I hope this is a nice stitch to end this month with I will do a video about what I'm going to that's coming up. I do have several things I want to try. There are going to be new stitches, just not one every day, because I have that's something I do like showing and learning myself. So thank you for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, this is the first day that I think we haven't had rain from um, the inland ex effect of the hurricane again not near as I mean no way near as bad as the ones that were in the middle of it but um, I am kind of glad to see a dry day it's still damp outside but it's drier and um, I hope everybody is recuperating I heard there's more coming in so please be safe guys if you're in that area and I will be seeing you later and I really do appreciate it guys I wish I had if I can figure out how to add fireworks and surprise um, celebrate how much I appreciate you guys. Um, I would. And I'm going to try to see if I can do that. So thank you so much again. I keep saying that. But I mean it. And I will see you for some of the projects in October. I've got several that I want to do. One of them is a beaded weighted blanket. Um, some, And there's just a few other things I have on mine. So I will be seeing you for those. And I hope you have a good day. Now. I share some of this on my TikTok, so if you are watching this on TikTok, please come and follow, you know, check me out on YouTube. I would appreciate a like and a subscribe, but it's okay if you just come to visit and see what's going on. I understand that too. I, I see a lot of channels that um, I enjoy, but, um, you know, for whatever reason, uh, if, you, if it's something you don't care to uh, subscribe to, I understand. But it would be nice to have you here on a regular basis, and I hope I'm not too, uh, um, mm, I was just thinking the only word I think of is boring. <laughs> so, thank you guys. I like these. I actually like these two colors together. Kind of wish I had a little bit more of this blue. That might make a pretty project. All right, I'm going for sure. Bye. <laughs>